Coming up in today's video, I've got a quick review of World's End Tiki Spiced Rum. So if you want to know all about that, how to drink it, what cocktails you can make with it, stay tuned. Hello Spiced Rum fans, I am Steve the Barman and I'm hoping these videos will help you drink, serve and enjoy better quality spiced rum. That's what I'm all about at the moment. So if you like the sound of that, make sure you hit me up in the comments below. Let me know what you're drinking at the moment. Let me know what you'd like me to cover in future videos. Also, if you are loving your spiced rums, then there's a pretty newish Facebook group that we're all kind of part of now. We're having some good banter and chatting about different spiced rums. If you'd love to join us over on Facebook, stblive.uk forward slash spiced rum club. Right then, World's End. World's End is the brand of this rum. This is their Tiki Spiced Rum. This is the second rum that they released. And from what I can tell, I don't know too much about them. I think they are technically based in Belgium, although they have UK um, distributors and importers in quite a few countries now. But I think HQ is in Belgium. And uh, from what I can find out about them, it's their second rum. So the story behind the brand name, World's End, um, as far as I can tell, comes from, the inspiration comes from a 16th century explorer called uh, Nathaniel Winter. Uh, whether he was based uh, down in Portugal, whether he went to visit Portugal, I don't know. I should have done a bit more research there. But a uh, place in Sagres, really nice beer actually, I quite like that beer. Uh, Sagres in uh, Portugal. When you look out onto the ocean, all you can see is just the vastness. And it became known in the 16th, 17th century as the end of the world because you could see no further. And as I'm assuming, back in the 16th century, they didn't have little globes, so the earth was flat. So, of course, you couldn't go any further because it was just sea. So, that is where the brand name comes from, World's End. Now, before I read you the little marketing story in the front, I will try and hold that on the close-up there. I don't know whether you can see that, but the label's really cool. Oldie Weldy kind of map atlas on there. And you can see the little story, hopefully, just about there. So I'll read you this little story. Uh, leaving a deadly sea serpent in our wake. What is it with spiced rum and sea serpents? I don't really know. Anyway, leaving a deadly sea serpent in our wake, we came to the island of the volcano. Their drums beat, their fires burned, but instead of taking our heads, they gave us a spiced rum drink like no other. So with a cool marketing story and some really awesome branding, actually, I really love the branding behind uh, behind the brand, behind the product. What is the actual rum all about? What's the liquid all about? Well, the base liquid, as I've explained uh, in the last video that I put out, actually, what is spiced rum? Base liquid is a blend of three different rums, three different islands out in the Caribbean. We've got Trinidadian rum, we've got rum from Tobago, and we've got rum from Jamaica. That is blended together to create their base rum. And then I assume it's shipped back to Belgium. Um, but the, the blend, the spices that go into this are cinnamon, allspice, and uh, a secret uh, recipe of different other spices going in there together. What does it smell like? Well, to me, it smells quite sweet. Again, I've said that before. What does sweet smell like? Well, I, you know, we go to tasting events and I get shouted out for saying it smells sweet, but that's how I describe it. For me, it smells sweetish. I get a little bit of vanilla coming off there, but I do get quite a bit of um, a cinnamon, but quite a bit of citrus for me. There's that kind of whole citrus thing going on. Right then, what does it taste like? Well, this, I'll be honest, I haven't had a spiced rum like this in quite a few videos now. This is absolutely delicious. Although it smells sweet, it is a superbly balanced drink. Quite easily drink that neat. It is not syrupy sweet at all. I can't tell that there's an overriding amount of sugar that's gone in there. It's just a lovely, well-balanced, I would say complex, spiced rum. Yes, I've got the spices on the sort of second wave uh, as it goes down my throat there. I've got a little bit of pepper hitting the sides, a bit of allspice, lovely bit of cinnamon. 
I do get quite a bit of citrus actually in there. I, it's not a really sort of lime forward like Old J or Morgan Spice or Captain Morgan's Spice, whatever you want to call it. It's not in that category, but I have got quite a bit of citrus in there for me as well. For me, it doesn't finish sweet at all. Now I have to justify that because when you compare this to, and I'm so, I have to keep banging these drums because I keep getting rum enthusiasts coming at me. I'm not comparing this to rum. I'm talking about spiced rums. And then the whole spiced rum scale, uh, for me, this is not sweet. This is perfectly balanced, lovely bit of complexity. Yes, it's a lot sweeter than your sipping rums and all that, but when you compare it to other spiced rums, this is just absolutely delicious. Right then, what does this play well with? How can you drink it as a simple highball, as a simple spiced rum and mixer? In first place for me, Coca-Cola. Uh, absolutely delicious as a spiced rum and Coke. Again, it's not adding to the sweetness at all in like lamb spice, like Captain Morgan's, like Old J or anything like that. It is a perfectly balanced sort of spiced rum, bit of complexity, a uh, bit of spice notes coming through the back there with Coke absolutely it's lovely really cracking drink that one love that one in second place by literally a whisker is fever trees spiced orange ginger ale again if you're not a coke fan then this is going to be your number one by without a shadow of a doubt absolutely delicious hasn't got the feistiness of ginger beers i really love this orange ginger ale then in third place just marginally losing out is uh, my favourite ginger beer. I've, I've done a whole ginger beer tasting now. I've got loads of different ginger beers. I've got about 14 or 15 that I've played with. I should do that on a video, really. But uh, this is my out and out fav uh, favourite ginger beer now. This is Franklin's and Sons ginger beer with malted barley and a squeeze of lemon. Just may just missed out ever so slightly to the fever tree spiced orange ginger ale. But that is a lovely drink. If you are a ginger beer fan, that is going to rock your world. Then the final two mixes, I couldn't split them, to be honest. I really couldn't. For me, they're not as nice as the first three. They're not as nice as the Coke, uh, the ginger ale, or the ginger beer. But they are lovely, different alternative drinks. We've got Fentiman's Tropical Soda. We've got Ting Grapefruit Soda. I couldn't split them. For me, the grapefruit just works very, very well. And then for a completely different flavour, you've got the tropical, which is a pineapple, uh, hints of juniper, a bit of cardamom in there, pear extract. Really, really lovely. But for me, that is probably more of your traditional uh, spiced rum or rum mixes, your Cokes, your gingers, that kind of thing. But they are absolutely lovely. Right, now it is cocktail time. I'm going to do something quite different now. Thank you so much to everyone. I was so humbled by all the responses got. Literally over a couple of hundred responses to my um, Instagram stories. And obviously uh, natively to Facebook. I had a few answers on Facebook as well, stories. But uh, basically what I wanted to research is what do you guys want at home? And a lot of it was just the simple uh, highball mixes. What can you mix with? And there. Uh, and it was a very small percentage of cocktails. So instead of doing cocktails on a video now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make up two or three cocktails and I'm just gonna add them to uh, my Instagram stories. So I'm gonna create uh, over, so when this gets released, there'll be stories coming out, but they will be permanently in my, I don't know what you call them, featured stories. I'll, I'll set up a new little circle up there and I'll have all these cocktail recipes, simple four, four story, four picture stories, uh, for cocktail recipes going forward. I'm not going to do cocktails on video. Go and find me on Instagram at Steve the Barman uh, and also I'll split this these videos down into two so you get the review and then the mixer. I've been Steve the Barman and I'll catch you next time.